We have been sleeping on cross. We really have. Anything that happens, know that I love you forever. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. How is it wasn't happening? My name is Omi Oduke Mwafiko and this is Talk to Your Homie TV. My darling, one AC, I love to give very sweet and juicy juice here. And every time I come here, guess which is my darling? See, something happened that was like, ah, Omi, you have to come and tell them now. Like, how did I skip this gist? What Nini did? What Nini did? How she came to come and show us that you get me? I am Nini, yo. Don't joke with me. I have tea on Nini. I have tea on Alex. Alex made Alex unusual, yeah. She made one move, yeah. However, I started to see comments and hear talks, and I was like, ah, that's not even true. We're talking Alex, we're talking about Cross. We have been sleeping on Cross. We really have. I'll tell you what I figured out about Cross recently, really, and who made me figure it out because it's amazing how trolls think they're trolling you, but they're kind of showing you the right part. So Cross is on the table today, my darling, and Jackie B. Jackie B keeps revealing things about her to us that I'm just like, hmm, really? We didn't know that? You will love today's gist, so get comfortable, my darling. Please subscribe to my channel now, I mean, go and click subscribe button, do also up with you. And give me a thumbs up, I'll appreciate it, and I'll start Let's talk about Alex first, yeah. So Alex um, celebrated her birthday, I think a day after Val's day. To be a celebrity in Nigeria, it's kind of pressure, do you get me? Because I don't know about anybody, but if you look at the way the economy is going, and you are in, in, like, in the entertainment industry, and not acting movies or, or doing music, and you're just a celeb, influencer, how do you get money? You gotta work extra hard to make your money, right? But you know, there's this pressure of like, oh, you're a celebrity, you're a big person, so your birthday has to be big and huge and massive. Like, people expect you to just do the most, but I just like, see, I'm gonna kill myself, yeah? And so she, okay, maybe that wasn't what she said. Maybe she actually said, I'm gonna be creative and different, yeah? But her birthday was actually nice. She rented like a private um, cinema, yeah, cinema hall, and she brought her guys, like her friends, her close people to come and watch a movie with her. It wasn't the usual, oh, the biggest celebrities everywhere there. It was just a cool, chill vibe we have like close friends messi was there diane was there um uh, prince was there who again like uh, and very like regular friends but it was a cool time there was even food there there was drinks they watched a the movie she looked if i watch this video To me, I feel like that's even like a well-spent birthday because I don't know. I think like in, in this in this day and age, I don't need to try to please people or do things just to look like you're living a life. No man, do what makes you happy. Bring your close friends to you. So that way, if you look right and left, there are people who really genuinely love you and promote you. Do you get me? However, two things that happened at the birthday, I'm like, hmm. The first thing that happened was people trying to say, eh, it's because she did not have money. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why. Ha, ha, ha. See, it could be because she did not have money. That's why she did this kind of birthday. It could be that, um, she's just trying to do something different. Because last night is her birthday. You cannot come and tell her how to celebrate her birthday. Do you get? She cannot even just imagine. She might say, okay, I don't want to do anything. It's her birthday. You, you don't know the, like, the state of her mind at that time. So a lot of people do what they want to do because it's talks like this that make people now 
go under pressure and do things that ordinary they would not want to do. Do you get me? And who told you she was like, why is that even a talk? Like, oh, maybe she does not have money. Like, who cares, man? Don't kill yourself or oh, for people that don't know you personally and you don't know them personally. Do you get me? That's how I say it. But what do you think? You think, oh, we know this was a broke birthday. Ha ha ha. Tell me what you think in the comment section, my darling. And secondly, was the fact that people were really stunned. Oh, Messi and Tatcha came together. You get me? Oh my God, they were found in the same um, um, building, the same party. I'm just like, oh man, is this war? Is it that Messi is one country, Tatcha is another country, so they must not like, is, is it war? So you think that because you guys think, because I would say you guys, cause, because you really don't know what's happening behind the scene right so you think because you think that there's beef between them so it now means that they can never be in the same environment under the same roof why like what well, understand see that this one is bringing some kind of air that will pull you like you get me like i don't know you know eh? i think we really take all this like we, we i think we take life too seriously one i think we take celebrity life too seriously don't like I mean, you ask yourself as a person, would you go to like a party when even your sworn enemy is there and you're going with your own guy? Because Messi was with her girl, Diane, you get me? Can't you go to your own party, like to a birthday party or to anything, an event or whatever, and somebody who doesn't like you is in one corner and just live your life? Do you get me? And, and, and let me tell you something. If that's you and you're going somewhere and there's somebody who doesn't like you in one corner looking at you, honey, enjoy yourself every time you have an opportunity to go out to enjoy yourself to live life to eat food to be happy take that advantage yeah, and be happy i'm telling you like don't allow anybody to dictate your life and make you live a particular life no be yourself man be happy because life is for the living man and just, I don't, let nobody's attitude you get me dictate how you want to enjoy yourself how you want to be happy at all no so me, I, when I saw when I was seeing the comment, I was like, "What is this comment like? What are you guys saying? It makes no sense to me." But what do you think? Please tell me in the comment section, my darling. I really want to know. Like, you think Omi no, but just beef. Ha 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 ha. I really want to know what you think about this in the comment section, my darling. Next, she said, "Let's talk about cross and what I found out about cross. I was so amazed about. Listen. So you know how I, I come and say, "Oh, um, Bibi Naija, um." housemates they, they try to do youtube they never really just do the youtube ha, 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 why well it happened to be that cross actually has been running his youtube channel for a while and i haven't even given him the opportunity to look at his channel do you get me and let me tell you how i figured it out yeah there, there's been a fan of cross who i know you're obviously a fan of cross any video i do literally the person will go to the comments and be dragging me oh me li, 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 oh me as in every time like even matter does not does not concern cross though so. He which the person say, eh, why didn't you call cross? I'm just looking like, eh, hey, sorry. So because of the comments, I mean, if you see a comment, like the last 10 videos that you drop, you'll be like, okay, let me go and check. And I saw that I was wrong because see, my darling, Cross's YouTube channel is amazing. The content there will blow your mind. Listen, I want to show you guys, like he literally has so much fun. So what he does is he records his time, um, like when he travels to a country or something, yeah? He records his time in the country and comes to come and show you, yeah? And when he went to South Africa, it was amazing. Like Cross literally, yeah, um, I think he, okay, so we chill. He went on like this bond is, I don't know what they call it too. You have to help me out here. Is it bungee jumping? Bungee, bungee, bungee. I told you, but all those jump that you get me, you're in one, you're, you're on top of one very high or tall, whatever, and they tie your leg, and the rope now goes down, and you're facing down like it is scary. Cross actually um, entered into a bet with his cousin that he will not be able to do it, even though like if he does it, his cousin will give him one million naira, and Cross just did it. You see the energy that that vlog had. You know, I'm gonna stop here and play you just a clip of the vlog. So you guys watch it and understand because really watch this video. Yes, we have a bet. Jata and I have one million uh, bet on the table. So who is going to do it? Who is going to jump? Am I going to jump? Or is Jata going to jump? That's not the bet. For one million That's not the bet. 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 You are not going to jump. Oh, you I'm not going to jump. Yeah. yeah, you said you would jump. Okay. So yeah. So basically, Jata in his almighty creation believes I cross the gate to send the Okoko will not join. Ah, uh, well, we'll be die, Don't worry.
cross now. Please, right, give me a wheel. Give me a wheel. My wheel. Well, guys, we love you. I love you. Anything that happens to me, tell my mom that uh, I love her and. Um, I can't wait to see her in heaven. Only your mom. And uh, tell you my siblings. I love them too. Right. And, uh, they are the best. And tell Cross Nation that you, love you guys them. are the best family I've ever had. Super so thank you so much, Cross Nation. There you go. Where's your phone? Anything that happens, know that I love you forever. <laughs> Don't tell me that now. Enter now. Oh my goodness, coming through to me. Well done. Say it. Well done. So that's baby one millionaire. I did that shit, man. He's paying me one millionaire. What? Did you see God? Honestly, <laughs> I don't know if that was God, though, but I saw something. Did God forgive you for all your sins? <laughs> the energy, like. I was, I was just like, oh me, you've been missing. You've been watching this guy's vlog, like amazing. I love that he's been posting consistently. However, what and if you know Cross, if you can, if you can screenshot this thing and send to him, let him just watch it. My advice is, don't put pressure on yourself to only want to show us when things are really happening. Do you get me? That way, I feel and and, and, if, and if you do content, this is tea for you, right? That way, I feel like obviously there's now pressure. You would not now want to like natural content. You cannot post. You will now not be consistent because you believe that something big must happen before you know. You can literally just record. Literally, if you think I'm joking, check my vlog. Talk to your homie vlog. It's so interesting. But I can literally record what I do in a whole day. And it's interesting. The other day, my sister-in-law came and it was very hilarious the video was so hilarious i made a video of everything i'll put a link down below i want you to go and watch that video it is literally my experience from day from beginning of the day to end of the day and you will not find it boring at all don't take my word for it go down click that click the link down and watch that video and see do you get me so no pressure you don't have to wait till you're traveling to another country because you think you're a celebrity no people like you for you i mean they were in the house maybe in nigeria house they were not going to any country and people and we watch i watch two for seven okay maybe not two for seven i was sleeping on time but you know i watch this like, every time i was awake i was watching it really so yeah but you guys you need to check Cross's channel out on youtube it's called cross Okonkwo. you will love it i promise you it's, it's interesting i mean you saw the clip i just played for you right now now wasn't it amazing yeah check it out my darling next gist is a nini okay oh, you know how i did vows day look ha 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 like what happened on vows day yeah well something i did not tell you guys was that nini literally came online to show us like the romantic and naughty gifts her man gave her it was amazing i wanted you guys to just watch this one because i was just thinking like wait what what
You're not done, you're not done with the Valentine. Oh my god, this is so cute. Aww. Wow. Ah uh ah, -uh, all the handcuffs, all the tease me. I uh, no 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 see eh. Damn me, because I mean if my mom is giving me such things. As Valentine gives honey offer, we must have said something between me and my man, you get, that makes the man feel like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to spice it up because I mean, who's you? Who's she going to use it on? The man, you get me? But because me, do you, do you by any means, just by any means, small means, oh, do you think that was from Saga? Do you, no, you tell me, like, do you think it was a Saga thing? Do you think Saga was going to give it to her? Or do you think Nina has gone back to her boyfriend? Or maybe she has another boyfriend. What do you think? You know, I think... Now, 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 see. This is not me saying Nina and Saga are dating. I don't know. I'm not there. But Saga looks to me like such a person who... Saga looks to me like behind the scene, he's going to be crazy. Like, you get me? Like, in the other room? Oh, my God. He looks to me like he's like, let's try it all out. I'm not saying this gift came from Saga. I'm just saying that even if he just feels like, you know, in, like in front of camera, in front of, you know, he's a very calm person. <laughs> but once the cutting's down, the light is up, everything is, ah, uh, Saga, Saga gives me this very, uh, let's go, let's get risky, let's get, that's, that, that's how, that's the vibe it gives me, I cannot lie. But what do you guys think? If it's not, if, if the gift wasn't from Saga, I'm not going to hate man. I mean, she's a girl go for what you think is better for your life don't go and stay with a guy that you know that you don't like because people are giving you pressure nah that's what i think but tell me your opinion in the comment section my darling next dress is jackie b jackie b also has entered into the youtube space i'm just like yay but once i see baby i think baby Niger, because i really just i really like them i mean you cannot have someone like me analyze their lives for how many days of my own life because as a day, I mean, I'm here talking about them and they leave the house and you expect me not to really like be invested in their life and just wish them luck. I wish them so much luck. I want them to succeed. I want to talk about their success really and I, that's what I'm doing, yeah? So, Jackie B has come to YouTube as well. Her first YouTube video was her revealing things about her that was just amazing. I was just like, oh really, Jackie B? And I want to share with you because I think you will learn a lot from it. First of all, talked about bullying. So while she was in the house here, yeah, she had given us gist that, you know, people had bullied her a lot like while she was growing up and it's amazing how 
I, I don't know. Bullying is, is such is such a topic that we have to delve into. So before I talk about what you said about bullying, let's talk about like someone asking her, how is she a single mom and an entrepreneur? Like how is she balancing it? And she said, see, that she has owned it. That's her life right now. And I think that's so smart. Like I like that she said that she has owned this who she is. Like if you call Jackie B, Jackie B is a lady who has a son. To get so she's not trying to so she's just like she's walking through her life right now and i think that's something that every other single mother should learn because i had this friend who was about to get a house yeah she was about to get a house because her child hasn't been living with her her child has been living with her mother right and so she just wanted to just stay with her child you get me and you know people here try to tell her that ah why are you staying with your child why do you want to get a house and stay with your child see this child is almost 10 years old Oh, your child, no, it doesn't make any sense that men might not want to now come and meet you because you have a child. And most like that's cock and bull. Any man who sees a single mom and does not want the single mom, that's not the man for you. Only this you because so when you why will you now give your child the training that you want to give your child? Do you get me? Like when? So only man. So when I heard Jackie B say, I'm just like man, big up, and I have to come and tell you guys, like, you know, she's owning it only. That's who you are. Don't be sh- ashamed of it. Don't be shy of it. Only man. Yeah, my darling. Next thing to talk about was how she's handling the celebrity life. And I want to ask you guys a question because she was like, see, to her, she doesn't see herself as a celebrity. She sees herself as a normal person, yeah. Of course, she went to Baby Ninja house, things have changed definitely, but she tries to control her, like things are changing as much as she can control it. And she sees herself like a normal person, do you get me? So that way, there's no pressure on her at all. And I totally agree, do you get me? Like, I see her like a celebrity, really. But I actually love the fact that she says that she doesn't see herself like a celebrity. That way, there's no pressure on you. Because I don't know about you, but I, I, I mean, I'm a blogger, yeah. I'm on social media a lot, right? We've heard things about things like when people renting re- renting bags of money, they rent bags of money to come and make videos and show people online. So imagine you paying an aboki or paying whomever to give you a bag full of money. So you paid for the bag of money to come and post on Instagram just to get likes, just to get likes. There was no return on investment at all. That's not that, that's never an investment. That's a waste. Do you get me? Like people do outrageous thing, outrageous things. Do you get me? Just because oh I'm a celebrity, I have to no man, no. So when I heard that, I'm just like man, big ups Jackie B. That's the way to take pressure off yourself. What is the whole celebrity thing? Be yourself, be real. It's like my vlogs, guys. I'm telling you, I get this comment one million times. Literally, oh my god, you're so real. In my vlog, oh my god, you're so real. Does one girl have to reply her? And I'm like, wait, 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 chill. Like, I'm a real human being, I have to be real. Do you get? I don't know, like, what do you want me to do? Do you Like, just be yourself. I feel like it's so much pressure to be, to want to keep up a standard. Who will set the standard? I know we all say fake it till you make it, yeah, but like, don't die because you want to keep up a standard. Who does it help? It's giving you headache. You get me, yeah. So big up Jackie B on that one. And finally, let's not get into bullying, yeah. So she's told us about how people have really bullied her a lot. And the reason she feels she was bullied was because she used to be a very shy person. She used to be shy and timid. So she could not just speak up for herself. But right now, uh, what she has learned to be able to combat like being shy, no, in fact, being bullied really is first of all, she's now more expressive. So instead of her to just take things, you know, whatever you tell her, just take it because she could not express herself now she can now tell you exactly how she feels so that way i mean you know she's giving her opinion out so you cannot put your own opinion on her that's one the second thing she said she is very protective of her family like her close ones you get so of course whatever she needs to do to keep her family close you know to her and not put them in the limelight so much so that they're exposed to you know bullying and insults and things she does it and bullying is not just when you're a child that you get bullied though it's not like People bully people everywhere, even mature, even like, you know, I think bullying is also, should also be termed, I think it should be equal to peer, no, me not equal to, but like in the regard, peer pressure, because people making you do what ordinarily you don't want to do, even though we call it peer pressure, it can also be termed bullying, it's just, yeah. But anyways, the third thing she does is that she's careful of people that she brings around her. And that is the one that I'm just like, man, yes. Do you get me? Yes. She looks at 
vibes and signs from people do you understand and the moment she just notices any form of you know reaction she's like okay you know what i'm just gonna leave this whole relationship thing here yeah? i'm big up here yeah? and i want to say to anybody who was bullied me i wasn't bullied in school at all like you can't bully me why because i had a tough time in my heart okay okay no 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 before before i just wasn't bullied i mean i'm gonna say yeah i had a tough time i was the last born at the family of four do you get me so my elder ones were elderly and they all had one one year in between them but me they gave me like four or five years the last person gave me five years before me so there was that gap here so they used to do all this seniority carry this carry that carry that so i couldn't wait to leave my house really so the moment i left my house to board in school like this hey if you come at me to make me feel uncomfortable i would put you in your space because i've come to realize that a lot of times you get bullied because you actually want to be friends with people that you think are raving are popular are hot you get me like but in the real sense of it anybody who is around you that is not making you feel happy and promoting you anybody who is around you that you feel the need to protect yourself anybody who is around you that you just you just feel you you, you feel like you're going to be judged around the person the person should not be in your life you don't need the person do you get me you you need to own who you are own who you are your quirkiness your whomever you are own it this is who i am me for example now when i was younger in uni i went to hang out with the big i'm, I'm telling anybody because i think that we need to just address this bullying thing so you can learn one or two things here yeah. i used to want to hang out with like the big girls you know the happening girls the maybe not the big girls but like i just wanted to just have that spice in, in my life because ordinarily i like to go to church i like to read my book i'm a nerd so so if i'm a nerd and all that i, I would like to have friends that are you know going out girl all that so that i can balance my life but i realized that even though i was going out with them and saying they did not have my values right so a lot of times when i'm around them and they're giving me gist i have to just not talk and just keep quiet or talk like i'm doing what they are doing when, when i know that i'm not doing is just to be amongst them but i've come to realize that man who i am is who i am it's better you find even if it is no matter how small your circle is better you find people who are you yeah and have your values and promote your values that way you can grow faster than you're somebody here and then you're hanging out with this person but you cannot be yourself you're shy you you don't need all those things that way when you're with your own people and your own clique they can't bully you because they they, they most likely think the way you think to get me not, not not like basically have the same values that you have it's like if i it, Okay, I'm with last example and I'm done here. Yeah? I, I I remember one girl who I I knew her many years ago. We we connected like in, in uh, we we connected like sometime in future, yeah? like maybe two years ago. But we broke up later. Not broke up like dating, but like I stopped being her friend. You get me? And I, I remember the first time she called me like, ah, what's up? Oh, you know, hey, my uncle's around, but in this big hotel. I'm just like, yeah, man, that's good. And it was a Friday, and she was like, ah, come over now. And I was like, man, I can't come over because I'm going, like, I'm going to, I have night vigil to attend. I had vigil to attend. And she started to laugh. She was like, ah, you have vigil? <laughs> and I was like, why are you laughing? Because, like, I have vigil to attend, like, is it, like, because really, what's funny there? So you see such a person, what, what are we friends for? Why are you laughing at me that I'm having videos? So next time, I should not tell you that I'm having videos. So maybe next time when I'm with your friends, you don't say, ah, this one, this one I asked you, leave her more now, bruh. You get to don't mingle with people that, it's, it's not by force to have 100 friends. But like, what are they adding to your life? I'm going to stop here. Because like, I keep going and going and going, but I, I just, I, I like that Jackie talked about it. And I wanted to just put it out there in case you're bullied. As, as a mature person you don't have to be but that's it my darling you know i love you you know i always bring the tea for you back to back my darling that's why you should subscribe to my channel check my vlog out too. they say oh me you're so real yes i'm just like what do you mean i'm so real what am i supposed to do so i want you to go and watch the video i'll put the latest video yeah that one that my sister in law came go and watch it and tell me oh me when they say you're real this is what they mean i want to know your opinion yeah thank you and i also have a channel you see this bullying thing and how to live your life and just how to just be who god has called you to be and made you to be yeah 
I have a channel that I can, like in that channel, I teach you all the rudiments and everything that you need to know to just be successful and happy and live a full life in life. It's called Pennywise, my darling. Please, I'll put a link down below. I did a video about the Holy Spirit. Oh my gosh. If you know God, if you're a Christian and you don't have the Holy Spirit in your life, that's why you're not making it. That's why your life is not going the way you want it to go. That's why everything that's happening in your life, that's why. Because you don't have the Holy Spirit. And you, don't, and, and you might not even know who the Holy Spirit is. Let me help you out. I did a whole video talking about who he is and why you need him in your life and how to use the Holy Spirit in your life. Please, my darling, click the link down below. I love you with all my heart. You guys know I love you because I love you a lot. Like, Baba. Abuja is hot. Scarcity of fail. Fail is 500 naira per liter. I'm buying that, running the fail, everything just for you. And you say I don't love you. I'll fly yourself with you. I love you all my heart. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.